Hey everyone, my name is Marissa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm bringing to you part two of my beauty favorites. I've already done part one, which is makeup. So if you missed that, click on the card right there. It'll take you right to it. But today I'm bringing to you my skincare favorites. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I loved in beauty products all through this year, keep on watching. I first really want to quickly apologize for it being so dark out. I love to film in the daylight so I get a really beautiful bright background. But unfortunately, this is the third time I've had to film this video and we ran out of daylight and I want this up sometime in or around New Year's time. So it's gotta happen now. I'm gonna start with the skincare favorite for makeup removal. Makeup removal is like the beginning of every single routine when I take off my makeup at night. This is the Bioderma Micellar Water. It comes in various different formulations for skin type. This one is the hydrating one. I also love the sensitive skin one called Sensibio, and then there's also one for oily skin, but this basically it looks like a clear, watery liquid. Um, and what it is, is the liquid has makeup removing particles in there. I hesitate to say that it's an oil, but I believe it is actually some type of oil that's suspended in there. So when you pour it onto a cotton pad, you can just hold it against your eye um, for about you know two or three seconds, and then you can wipe away and then just all of the makeup is melted and gone. And same for your skin. It's just a lifesaver too when I don't really feel like taking off my makeup at night. You all feel me on that sometimes. It's just so good for taking off makeup, even the most stubborn like mascara and eyeliner. So when it comes to skincare, you guys know that I love Paula's Choice products because it's dermatologist formulated, the ingredients are all scientifically researched in a lab, most of them are even peer reviewed, and I just really like the philosophy of effective ingredients targeted to your skin type that are formulated to be as gentle as possible and the least traumatic to your skin. So Paula's Choice is great, but it kind of takes a while to deliver to Canada, and if I need a new moisturizer, if I need a new cleanser, uh, I am not organized enough, I'm the worst Virgo, I do not prepare ahead of time. So sometimes I'd like to go out and get it instantly. And one of the, my favorite new ones that you can get locally is Illumier MD. And this has been formulated by actual dermatologists as well. One of the dermatologists actually was the pioneer of putting um, peptides, which are the actives that you can find in all skincare into the skincare industry. So you know that you have like very experienced doctors who are formulating this stuff. This is the Purifying Cleanser Facial Cleansing Gel. And what I like about it is that it's a gel cleanser, so it's meant for people with more combination oily skin, but there aren't any sulfates in there and it doesn't foam, so it's not removing extra layers of your natural facial oils that shouldn't be removed. It makes it really comfortable. And another thing that I like about this brand is that they include those more holistic, natural ingredients, as well as those dermatologically, scientifically, buzzword, researched products and ingredients that I like a lot. So, um, outstanding brand that I discovered this year. Speaking of, also dermatologist approved, brands. This is Dermalogica. I actually did a campaign for them on Instagram and discovered a whole bunch of their products and loved them, but this is a standout that I can't stop using, which is the Antioxidant Hydro Mist. Um, I used to use toner incessantly, like every single time I wash my face, I would use toner before my moisturizer, but I have stopped using a salicylic acid recently. I'll talk about that in a skincare series that is coming next year, but this has been really, really nice as a toner to add a little bit more hydration as well as antioxidants, as is in the name, and vitamins that'll just help to pump up the skin and protect it from that sort of environmental assault on your skin. One of my absolute favorite serums is basically the mother of all serums. This is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair. Such a good one. I've tried this before, long before I got it this year, but this has just been something that I use every single time I do my, uh, any type of skincare routine now. It is a really light, watery serum that has hyaluronic acid in it. If you guys don't know about hyaluronic acid, a lot of the products that I have here feature hyaluronic acid because it's just a skincare wonder child. If ingredients were children. That was weird. Moving on. So hyaluronic acid is a molecule that holds up to about a thousand times its weight in water, which means that it'll plump up your skin and it'll hold water there. And uh, this is one of the first serums that ever came out with it that was mass produced on the market. It feels so nice. It sinks into your skin. So you really feel like it's going in there. It's not just sitting on the surface of your skin the way a moisturizer should. And it's just a really good product. 
So I come from the generation of people where it was like everything needs to be oil free, everyone has acne, you have to have an acne wash, and I cannot believe uh, that like 12 year old me would never have ever been featuring oils. Um, if YouTube had been around when I was 12 and if I was making YouTube videos when I was 12. So these are my two favorite oils. This is the Carez Wild Rose Vitamin C Brightening Oil and it has really beautiful, like it has a beautiful rose smell to it. And I learned actually from Dr. Sabag, who's like a world famous dermatologist and uh, ex-facial surgeon that Wild Rose of the high, highest quality is one of the best um, natural hydrating oils. So this one's amazing, but it also has vitamin C encapsulated in it. I've talked about this before, so I'm not going to try not to talk about it too much, but I'm obsessed with this. So, <laughs> um, it's just so beautiful. I find there's like an immediate brightening effect to it. It's also really dewy and beautiful because it is an oil, so it feels like your skin is glowing. And then I have the For Beloved One Facial Lifting Ceramide Oil. Ceramide is a South Korean skincare also, wonder child. <laughs> ceramide actually helps to improve the texture of the skin while also creating more of like a visible lift and firmness to the skin. And the oil I also find really sinks into your skin. It also leaves, obviously it's an oil, so it's gonna sit a little bit on the skin and make it look really dewy and plump. But this one I find also absorbs into the skin, which is really nice. Then quite possibly the randomest product that really changed the way my skin is this year is the Kiehl's Creamy Eye Treatment with Avocado. I love this and I honestly just picked it up on a whim. It's bright green, but it is so good under the eyes. And I find I used to have these like little dehydration lines under the eyes. I obviously will always have my expression lines, these two big ones here, but that's not a fault of anything. It's just the fact that I open my eyes and close them and smile from time to time. But this has just gotten rid of all those fine lines. It's plumped everything up. My concealer creases less um, and my bake looks a lot smoother under my eyes. It's just such a beautiful eye cream and I'm so happy I found it. On to facial creams. I couldn't decide between these two. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. You guys have heard me talk about this. I'm not gonna talk about it much more. I use it on so many different clients. It creates this really beautiful dewy effect um, and it has this like blurring quality to it, but it also really, really hydrates skin for a thick, rich day cream. It also absorbs directly into your skin and it doesn't make my skin, which is combination oily, feel any oilier, if that makes sense. And one of my favorite natural alternatives is the Face by Dr. Robux Cream. Dr. Robux is like all natural. It has essential oils, glycerin, um, macadamia oil, vitamin E, rosehip oil. It smells so good because there's also lavender in there. But this one is really good, I think, for people with more oily skin because it really absorbs into the skin um, and helps to hydrate really nicely. Last but not least for skincare favorite is this facial spray. You guys have heard me talk about it already in like one of my most recent videos. My favorites video, click that card right there so you can see it. But this is the Mario Badescu Rose Spray as I call it. It's got like facial spray with aloe robes and blah, blah, blah. Um, but it's so, so good. Like most sprays I find, like water sprays, just water will evaporate It'll feel like your skin's wet and hydrated, but then they'll evaporate from your face and pull out more water with it. So you're actually more dehydrated from when you started. But this has aloe in it and various other things that like stick on your face and create almost like an invisible film that holds the hydration that you're delivering to your skin in. So good. Oh, I totally lied about, last but not least, I forgot about masks. So I have been loving some really good masks. I got to try so many good masks this year. One that I don't have with me is the For Beloved One sheet mask. If you guys want a really good hyaluronic acid sheet mask that just sticks to your face and also delivers like lasting hydration, the For Beloved One is really good. For Beloved One One is really good. But um, for more of like glow and brightening and exfoliation. I love the Ula Henriksen Power Peel. This is a three-step process. You have the facial scrub, which I sometimes 
um, skip because I don't really like physical exfoliation as much as chemical. The lemon strip flash peel, which has the glycolic acids in there, so like citric acid, etc., that'll help to exfoliate the skin and break up the bonds between the dead cells on your face. And then this chamomile comfort mask that you put on and you leave the whole thing on for about 15 to 20 minutes and then wash it off. One of my favorite things about the Ulla Hendrickson mask and all of the products actually is that your skin feels immediately better, like immediately happier and way more like plumped up. But then you get those added benefits of like brightening and exfoliation later. It's one of the only brands really that I felt an immediate difference in my skin. And then the next mask comes from The Body Shop. This is my favorite of all the new um, skincare masks that they delivered this year. This is The Body Shop Ethiopian Honey Deep Nourishing Mask. This is one of my favorites of the new launches that they had this year. They released a whole bunch of masks. This is like a beautiful, it looks like honey. The texture is a little bit more creamy than honey, but honey is one of the best ingredients I find that you can use for your skin, natural ingredients wise. Honey is also a wonder product, which is one of the reasons why I love this mask so much. Um, you guys have probably heard me talk about the Antipodes Honey Mask. It's just honey, so good. Really good quality honey can act as an antibiotic. So if you have any um, active acne, that'll help to at least make sure that it doesn't become infected. But then also it's very hydrating to your skin and it's brightening and calming as well. So just basically all the things that you want from a mask in one ingredient. If you guys follow me on Snapchat or Insta stories, you'll hear me talking most of the winter about how my lips are so dry. If you don't follow me, please follow me. Go to that link up there. Follow me on all things. I find I'm way more myself on Instagram and stories and Snapchat anyway. But um, this lip balm is from Dior. It's the Creme de Rose Balm. Like I said, rose is one of the most hydrating oils, um, one of the best oils that you can use to plump up the skin. And this one does just that. It's hydrating and it's plumping on my lips. It gives that like glossy juiciness as well. And I just find that it's a hydration that lasts, which is so important and often hard to find with lip balms, which is just, beyond. Um, this is my favorite nail polish color for the year. Sian de Shellac Satin Pajamas. Just when you have a tan, it looks more like mannequin hands. Mannequin hands are when the nails extend and it just looks like, almost like the same skin tone and your hands are just super long. And when you have more fair skin, such as me right now in the winter, it more looks like this mauvey, dusty rose color and it's just so pretty, so on trend right now. Dior also makes really good cuticle oil, and this is the um, apricot oil, the huile apricot, which is um, really, really nice. I also love this little brush tip, and you can just brush it onto the cuticles, especially for me, the skin, especially around my thumbs, gets so dry and like peels and cracks. So this has been really good for keeping all that dryness at bay, especially during winter. And then another one that I cannot find for the life of me, in all the makeup storage that I have is the L'Occitane or L'Occitane, I don't know how to pronounce it, but their um, cuticle oil is like the Cadillac of cuticle oils. If I really need, I actually need to go buy that soon if I can't find it. In the winter, when my skin gets so, so, so dry, that is the only cuticle oil that will cure everything. So in my last favorites video, I was talking about my favorite fragrance of the month, but I realized in the video while filming it that I hadn't actually spoken about my favorite fragrance. So this is Dior Homme. Yes, it's a men's cologne, but I love it so much. The scent is sage and cardamom. You can smell a lot of that spiciness, um, an ambery undertone, and then lavender, which is another reason why I probably love it so much. Um, it is a very masculine scent, but I find that masculine scents are my favorite anyway. And how I first discovered this and picked it up was um, I bought it for my ex-boyfriend. Well, at the time he wasn't my ex-boyfriend, but he's my ex-boyfriend now. And then when we broke up, I bought my own because I found I was always stealing it from him and I missed this scent. So I wear it now, he still wears it. We're both cool with it. His and hers, ex-girlfriend, ex-boyfriend's sense i suppose but it's really good and it's literally my signature scent so that is it that was all of my skincare favorites plus a few sneaky nail favorites in there um i absolutely loved getting to know more skincare brands and to really branch out with skincare this year and i hope you guys did too if you did let me know what your hero skincare products are in the comments down below don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed this video because it really helps my channel out it helps me bring better videos to you and 
don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any more in the installments of my best and beauty favorites as well as other videos from me in the new year so with that being said i hope you guys have a healthy safe and happy new year and i'll see you next time bye